energy efficiency is removing demand at a great rate. LED light bulbs, energy efficiency of our appliances, um, insulation. I've just renovated my home, I've reduced the energy demand by 60 or 70 percent. It's a Victorian house, it's not a very, it's not a, 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 a cross between a jumbo jet and a racing car, um, as you've got here. But you can do these dramatic energy efficiency improvements, they're coming through the system. So what you've got now is a situation in country after country, as I travel the world, um, where you've got flat or falling demand in the developed world, and there's been a period of enormous incentive to invest in supply right through the system uh, at the projects, at rooftops and, and so on. And so what that means is that the generating business is just a horrible business to be in. There's just overcapacity. And, and particularly the politically unfavoured piece of generation, which is broadly speaking coal and in some countries nuclear, is an absolutely horrible place to be. And so I think we're going to see absolutely more utilities splitting off that bit because, conversely, sitting up near to the consumer, helping the consumer to install new technologies, to manage new technologies, uh, helping, making sure that if there's a, uh, a power cut, which of course would never happen on a 50 hertz system, that there's some, uh, uh, you know, that they can manage and ride through that, or if their own assets, their, their solar inverter or their fuel cell falls over, that there is a backup. Managing, and, and of course providing demand response, demand management, those new services, that's going to be very lucrative business. So I would be not at all surprised, but I would predict that more utilities will split off the generating bit. I would almost predict that some consumer-facing uh, utility, in other words, the, the retailers, might even start merging telecoms companies. If it's regular. Because the services that they'll be providing to the homeowner and to the business user will look so much more like telecoms. So you have an itemized bill for your, uh, for your mobile, for your texts, but you don't have one for your appliances in the home. Why not? And essentially, you'll see that convergence, it all becomes very kind of trendy, you get internet of things and, and so on. So it, but that, that end of things is where the innovation will be and where therefore the margins, there is a big advantage to, you can, you, if, you, if you can solve it, you can earn good margins, but down at the generating side, without demand growth, it's going to be a bloodbath.